Hey everybody, it's Dan, back to answer some of your questions. Uh, there were a lot of questions on that one. That was a super fun collaboration with, with Andrew Ray. Um, I, I want to thank everyone who came over from that channel and checked it out. I hope you'll check out the rest of the What's In Your Dan season one. Um, and you, got, you brought great questions with you, and so I wanted to answer some of those. So this is basically what I do uh, for those who are new, is after each episode airs, I go through the comments, I try and answer as many questions as I can in there, and then I do um, a video kind of covering some of the bigger ones. Um, and so there's a lot of Bagel fans out there, which is awesome. The first thing I want to say is there were a number of people who were bummed that I didn't talk about Montreal Bagels. Um, and I want to say that it's, it's zero uh, diss on Montreal Bagels. I think they're fantastic. They're a different beast in a lot of ways. This was really all about the New York Bagel, digging in on what makes it special and, um, and how to make it at home. So I kind of stayed away from that. Doesn't mean I won't do one in the future. And now that I know there's a lot of interest, I might just have to do that. Uh, but there were some really great questions that I wanted to dig into. The first one, um, which I really love this question because it tells me that a lot of you work with a really analytical brain, love the scientific method. And the question was, in the boil, did I boil all the bagels in Boston water? So even the New York uh, water bagels, did I boil them in Boston water? Um, and that could absolutely, you know, that could have a big influence given those differences in pH. And the answer is no, I, I boiled the bagels in their respective waters because I felt like that would actually potentially have a big impact on it. So it was, you know, same water all the way through. Uh, so that wasn't a variable, but I love that. There's so many people that ask that question. Uh, I think you're in the right place. If you ask that question, you're, you're watching the right show. Um, so definitely stick around for season two. Hope you'll check out the stuff that, um, that we did in season one. Uh, so the next biggest question I got was, what did you do with Andrew's water? Because I mentioned that I used uh, my science editor, Paul's water. And the unfortunate thing is Andrew actually got sick on the day that he was supposed to come to Boston. The plan was he was going to pack his car up with like gallons of water from his apartment and drive here. And we were just going to shoot all day and, and have a blast with it. He ended up getting really sick, so we couldn't do that. So we had to do some kind of workarounds in order to... Uh, get get New York water here, and then I was able to go um, to New York to shoot with him. So it all worked out fine. I would have loved to have had him here. He would have been in the video a lot more, and we would have been using his water. The good news here is that season two, we're already talking about our next collaboration video. And if it works out, I can't, I can't spoil the secret. If it works out, it will be so much bigger than the one that we just did. It's going to be really, really fun. Um, and that one we did on, on, on basics with Babish. This one we're talking about binging with Babish because it has a, a pop culture tie-in. I wish I could say more, but I can't because uh, we don't know if it's going to happen yet. But if it does, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I also got a lot of questions about what's in the boil. I didn't get too specific about it, uh, like what actually goes into that water. So in our recipe, we use uh, we have sugar and baking soda. Uh, and they're both there for, for a similar reason is to improve browning. So the baking soda raises the pH of the water and uh, those Maillard reactions are, are much, uh, happen a lot faster and a lot easier in a high, a high pH environment. And then the sugar, you know, we know that sugar browns really well. And so we're not using malt syrup in the boil. Uh, we, we put that in the dough itself because it's actually acidic in the boil. It can, it can affect the pH. So we are using uh, baking soda and sugar instead. So that's what we have in there. Um, sorry. <clears throat> So yeah, so in the boil, we are using baking soda and sugar to improve browning. Uh, okay, and the final question I want to dig into is probably going to be a controversial one, but uh, a couple of people asked, if I want to add raisins to this recipe, uh, how do I do it? And I think it's controversial because there are so many people who are just anti-raisin, anti-raisin and chocolate chip cookies and bagels, you name it. Um, I like them in a cinnamon raisin bagel, I think is awesome. And so uh, you can easily add them to this recipe. You'd want to use about two thirds of a cup of raisins. You want to add them when you take the dough out of the food processor. Uh, you kind of have to knead it on the counter for about a minute just to bring it all together. That's when you want to add uh, those raisins in there. So they won't get beat up by the machine. It's really easy to incorporate by hand. Um, so yeah, so I hope that helps. Um, so that's all the questions um, for today. I want to say thank you again for watching season one. I had an absolute blast making it. Uh, we're already in production for season two. We're shooting uh, our first stuff next week. So. Uh, we're already cranking away on it, and we've got some really big ideas, big collaborations. Thank you for all your suggestions on foods. Some of those you're going to see um, in Season 2. And yeah, stick around. We're going to make it happen. Thanks a lot. Bye.